drag queens in the Taj Mahal, and the Panthers on patrol. Next Donahue, no. Tonight's episode of Way Out. Stay tuned. Welcome to another edition of Way Out. I'm Mark Chestnut and Michelle Van Voorhees. On tonight's show, we have Brenda and Glenda, who recently took a trip down to the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City with several other drag queens. We're going to see video footage of their, of their uh, remarkable trip, as well as we'll be uh, talking with them here in the studio tonight. And Michelle is going to be talking with the Pink Panthers, or the Panthers. I'm not sure exactly who they'll be by the time this airs due to a pending lawsuit. However, they'll be speaking with us and also providing us with some video footage of their patrols throughout New York City. And uh, on a more serious note, America is at war, and all of us are being asked to do our part to cut back and give whatever we can. Towards this end, Michelle and I have decided to become one person. Yes, we have been combined into one human magical being that is neither male nor female, but represents all that is beautiful about mo both masculinity and femininity. And as we continue now with the show, you won't be able to see us at the same time because we are, in fact, the same person. We now continue with Way Out. <laughs> What is your name? Pearl. Pearl, I'm glad you're having a good time I here. I really am, I, and I joined you on the bus. Are you on the bus? We're on the bus. Oh, you were on our bus. That's right, I enjoyed you very much. Oh, that's you great. You were having see, a lot. See, the reason why we don't want to come back is they wouldn't let us gamble in, oh, in here. Oh, that right. isn't How fair. You... I don't think it's fair. They told us we were wearing too much makeup, and no, I, I no, don't... that's you... nothing. You. That has nothing to do. Thank you. I don't think... I think that is not fair. Well, you no. should. They should. You're such a nice woman. Maybe if you go in and talk to them, they'll... <laughs> they'll... <laughs> talk to them. But I don't think they would do it. I don't think... Think they would, what they should. It's yes, I mean, after all, you came here. That's no, you should have. I, they should lot, let you. I usually wear a lot more makeup. Yeah, than she's this. not even wearing any makeup. I don't understand. Well, I don't think it's right. How, how do you feel th about this, sir? Are you, do you enjoy the Taj Mahal? What do you think of all this splendorous tackiness? Well, personally, I've never been in, but I think you deserve to do it, you know, whatever it is yeah, you want to do. We deserve to gamble. We're over age. And uh, we came here to the, specifically to gamble, you know, we came from Manhattan on the bus and we got all these quarters and they wouldn't let us gamble. They well, said, by all means, if you came that far, you should be able to go in. Yeah. I mean, we went in, we went in the hotel, but we couldn't... Come it's, it's blatant discrimination, don't you think? It's regardless of what you're wearing, regardless of what you look like, anybody could go in anywhere. You have a very nice, lovely outfit on today. I'm, I'm enjoying that outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Did you go in and gamble? Did they, did you want to go in and gamble? Yes, I am. Well, from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, I like Philadelphia. Well, you know, Brenda, I don't think it's that we really just wanted to gamble. I mean, I don't think I came here because I wanted to gamble, but, but I just... It's our, it's our right to gamble. Yeah, it's our right. I mean, they. I don't want them to have my money anyway, but just the fact that they're barring me as a drag queen... Is... Well, maybe that's why Trump's in debt, because he's discriminated against uh, yeah. certain types. <laughs> that's, I think that's true. I think... Well, Drag queens in the Taj Mahal. That's what you've been watching, and you'll see more of it. We're here now with Brenda and Glenda from the uh, Brenda and Glenda show. Welcome to uh, to Way Out this evening. And uh, what were we just watching? What is it called? Well, that was our, our new upcoming video, Seize Control of the Taj Mahal. We took seven drag queens and uh, a couple of um, gay people. Uh, and gay drag queens. Gay drag queens to uh, the Taj Mahal. We bu boarded the bus at uh, Avenue A and 3rd Street with all the little old U Ukrainian ladies. And um, we went out to Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. and Intending to gamble. Now, what I saw of the video, it seems you got a lot of positive, positive responses from the uh, rather uh, dowdy people who were attending the Taj Mahal for their fun and games. Well, I guess they thought we were glamorous because when you go to a casino, you expect to see glamour. So they... I guess they related to us as performers, you know. Maybe they thought you were there to do a show even or something. Did yeah, a lot of people that? thought we were, you know, um, La Cage side show or something. Right, yeah. But a lot of people knew that we were gay drag queens from New York, and, and we did get support mm -hmm. about yeah. that. 
Well, that's good. But you also did get negative, negative response also. The staff, they, th they threw us out of the gambling area. They and said you had too much makeup on. Yeah, they, they were afraid that we were going to run away with all the money or something. Or, or, play or all the men. Uh, yeah, something like that. We almost did. And then also on the boardwalk, we were walking up the steps and there were these um, people who yelled at us and said, called us AIDS Parade. Yeah, and homos. And also the other thing was when we were conducting interviews on the boardwalk, um, employees of the Taj Mahal stuck their head out the window to, and one of them said, yeah, I'm straight and I'm happy. And we said, well, good for you, honey. They're so insecure. That's so it's mostly, the negative response came mostly from the, from the supposedly heterosexual men. Yes, right? mm, supposedly. Yeah. But from, one never knows, but from what I saw that mostly, a lot of the women that you interviewed especially were, were, uh, were amused and were, were supportive and all. Oh yeah, they loved us. Yeah, I mean, they, they get to see such boring people all day. I mean, when they saw us, I mean, it was just like, I don't know, all those waitresses who worked in that restaurant, they just flipped out. When they were screaming. They, yeah. they couldn't get enough of us. Now, when is, when is your show on? Because you're going to be showing more than we're showing this evening on your own show, right? Mm. It's going to be edited. And yeah, we'll, we'll be airing the completed version very soon. And our show is on every Monday night on Channel 17, which is also Channel D, which is Manhattan Cable at 8.30 p.m. So if you can't make it, set your VCRs. Mm, yeah, because a lot of people go to ACT UP. But you know, if you have a VCR. We understand that not everyone has a VCR. Okay. Now, I wanted to ask you one question, though. I don't know if you... <laughs> did you see any sort of any sort of remembrances of Jessica Savage of NBC News? Because she grew up in Atlantic City. She oh, did? She did. Yeah, yeah, she she did. did that. You didn't see any of that? She sort of looked like a drag queen, didn't she? Which one is Jessica Savage? She had blonde hair. She, she, she looks just like... That's true. She had hair similar to that. And oh. she's... She died in a, in a ditch in Pennsylvania or something. Yeah, with her lover. In a helicopter, right? No, 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 no. No, that's somebody else. She drove over the cliff. Was she a lesbian? Something, no, but she was with her lover. She, she was Russian. Uh -huh. She was? And her hands were Roman. I don't know. Anyway, okay, now what else did you want to talk about? Oh, the other thing I wanted to ask you, did, were either of you consulted about the, about the uh, remake of, of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Yeah, we got several calls. It was to the point where we just had to like leave the phone off the hook. They kept bothering us. Did you we, we refused the script because it was drag phobic. The drag queen <gasps> gets killed. In the, yeah, they killed the drag queen. We were screaming. We were so upset. That was blatant drag you, phobia. Yeah, so you saw the movie then. And I worshipped yeah. Vanessa Redgrave. And I, I don't know too much about Lynn, but I worshipped Vanessa. <laughs> and I just thought that it was... I don't know why they, they, they even bothered with remaking it, because nobody could ever come close to, to uh, Betty Davis mm. in that role. Oh, that's true. That's very true. And also, the thing I noticed was that, um, was it, who's the Weight Watchers one? Lynn? Lynn. Lynn Lynn's Wade. head is 20 times the size of Vanessa. <laughs> her face and her head. It's well, very bizarre. bizarre. You mean Baby yeah. Jane? The one who played Baby yeah. Jane? Yes. Oh, there's the telephone. Oh my goodness, the telephone's ringing. I didn't Let's know this was is. show. We're on the air. Oh, uh, no, this is Mark Butch. Hi, how are you? It's Butch Peaston from out in the 90s. Oh, does he know we're, we're on the air? Right now? Yeah. Did show. you want to talk to Rich? Okay, can you hold on? Or can he call you back? Oh, okay, hold on one second, please. The, does hold he have on. a question for Brendan Glenda? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what was that? We had to stop the tape because Butch's call from out in the 90s was just a little too risque to play on the air, if you know what I mean. <laughs> At any rate, I was wondering, you two are so glamorous and so fashionable. Are you fashion models or performers at a club or something? Well, what we do is we believe in taking drag out of the nightclubs and out of theaters and out into the public arena to confront ordinary, everyday people with drag and gay and lesbian sensibility and politics. Yeah, we like to shock people into questioning their own ascribed gender roles. We, we like to... We don't, we don't like to be subtle about what we do. You know, we take the cameras out, we use the cameras as weapons, we point them, we turn them on people and watch them squirm. I mean, it's like, it's, it's not, we're not really trying to do outreach, we're, we're more like we're trying to shock people. And sometimes we, we do it, and sometimes people just don't even notice us. And who, do, who, who uh, have you gotten ideas for this sort of, for this sort of video journalism or, or vi video creativity? From do you have any inspiration besides this television program? Well, the first, the first, <laughs> the, the first is our only inspiration. Now, the first uh, time we ever thought of doing something like that, I actually, a long time ago, had an idea of doing a show on the Crosstown bus. I just wanted to do a talk show sitting on the bus, since it's like it's the bus that goes between the East Village and the West Village, and it's very queer. You know, mm. the queers always take that bus. And I thought it'd be fun to get on the bus and have people get on on different stops. But we just managed to get people to get on on one stop, and, and you know we talked on the bus. 
And then since then, other people came up with other ideas, and we've just been doing it that way. Mm -hmm. So, well, well, you've got your work cut out for you then. Now, listen, I think that we all want to get on to see some more of your uh, wonderful video work from Atlantic City. So I thank you both for being with us this evening, and uh, come visit us again, and uh, we'll talk to you again. Okay, and thank you. stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thanks. Bye. of the Trump uh, Taj Mahal. We were just kicked out of the gambling area because we were in drag. And supposedly they tell people they can't wear makeup. Um, it's blatant discrimination. They said that we couldn't come in, that said we had too much makeup on. They said they tell women who have too much makeup on to come in. Not only is that sexist, but that's discrimination. Okay. And on different levels, it's, it's homophobia, it's sexism, and it's, it's fashion discrimination. And it, we're not going to tolerate it. So if you, if you know any gay gamblers or drag queen gamblers, don't gamble here because they're, you know, a dollar for the Trump Taj Mahal is a dollar for for homophobia. Racism, sexism, and homophobia at we, the Taj. We, we are going to check in our vouchers, though, because we did get $5 off, so we are going to use we that. We got $15 from them. $15, they gave us quarters. So basically, we came to Atlantic City for free, but we, we wanted to gamble, but I guess we couldn't. Um, Drag queens don't have the right to gamble in America. Free country. Yeah. Do you think it's fair that we were kicked off the gambling floor just because we're wearing makeup? No. Because it's, you have freedom of everything here in New York, so you can... You're in New Jersey. You want. Yeah. yeah. We're in New Jersey. Yeah. So you think it's unfair that we were kicked off the gambling floor just because of the way we look? Yes. Thanks. Well, does, would anyone else like to make... How do you feel about drag queens gambling at the Taj Mahal? How do we feel about what? How do you feel about um, people wearing a lot of makeup being thrown out of the Taj Mahal? But they should have on uh, in a casino. It's very nice. It's glamorous, right? That's right. We like it. So you have pretty, pretty eyeshadow on. Right? <laughs> they, they didn't throw you out, right? Absolutely not. And they shouldn't throw you out. How do you feel about them throwing us out for wearing too much makeup at the Taj Mahal? The same way as she does. It's your your business. Do you think it's discrimination? On Monday night. I don't know. You watch it on your ca your television, Shirley. Yeah, who was it that? The, the, the security guards threw us out and said that we were wearing too much makeup. Well, you tell them they have no right to do that. It's your business and you can do whatever you want to. Right on. Besides, I'm wearing light makeup today. Yeah. It's a free country. Right. I'm wearing light makeup today, too. That's fine. I like it. Thanks a lot. I'm, gl I'm glad there are more people people like you around. Okay, thank you very much, thank you.